Welcome back everyone. In our last video we have learned about a string. So in this video we have we will learn about how to work with integer data. So there are two type of data type in uh, to deal with the integer data. It means when one new okay. Let's suppose that I need to work on integer data. So how we will uh, work? We'll, I will show you. So let's suppose that I have one number called num and increase this size okay hope this is fine okay number num and this is 10 okay so if you want to check the type of that so let's so type type is the very type is the function using that you can check the what is the type of this variable okay run it you'll see here it is int this int is a whole number. You put here 1.10.9, and if you check the type, you'll see here this is full float. So this is in difference between integer and uh, float. So integer will be the whole number, and uh, float will be the decimal number. So this is two type of data type, and we have to work on that. So let's suppose that uh, you need to you need to add some number. Two number you have to add. So you have number one a equal to five and then b equal to six if you want to add two number just write print a plus b you will get 11 okay so this plus minus star into all this coming all this will come in arithmetic operator. So let me go through the arithmetic operator once. So let's suppose that uh, you want to, to multiply these two numbers. This is multiplication sign. This and this all things will come in arithmetic operator. And uh, for minus, you have to put minus. Okay. So if you run it, it will come B is A minus B. So is five and b is six. So if you subtract it, it will come minus uh, minus one. Correct. So if you are doing into into, we have already done it. Multiplication. You have to put single star here. And uh, if, you, if you want to do division, then there will be backward forward slash. Okay. This is the forward slash here. So let me change it here so that you will understand. Like thirteen divided by twelve. 13 divided by 6. So it will come around 2 point something, right? It will come 2.1666. So, but there is little different between forward to forward slash. So this is called floor division. Okay. The single slash is uh, division, double slash is floor division. Floor division will give you just if you run this one, give you the whole number. So little 2 point something, it will give you 2. Okay. It will not give the point to part. And if you want to find out uh, out some exponent like 2 to the power 3 or 2 to the power something 10, like let's suppose that I have one value called a into a equal to or just like this 2 star star 3. So it means it will it will do 2 into 2 into 2. This 2 to, two to the power 3. Okay, exponent 10. Come around eight. If you want four, it will come around sixteen. So hope you understand this exponent. And then after that, there is the modulus operator. Okay, this we are we usually use to find out the division. If division is uh, zero or one, what is the what was the division? That it will be we can find out is the modular operator. So modulus means uh, Let's suppose that 10 module I means this is percentage 3. So what will the reminder of this? 3 is a 9 and then 1 will be the reminder. So you will get here 1. So this is modulus operator. This modulus operator is very useful to find out the even number, odd number. Later we will go and do how to find out the even number. How you can check that this number is even or odd. Suppose that if you multiply, if you divide, if you do modulus, 10 models any number with 2. 
okay and if the remainder is zero what does it mean it is even number and if you do put here some 11 so if you do modulus of this so one let me check with the other also let's suppose the 19 is there okay so the remainder will be what one means odd number and even number so usually we do odd number even number check check or basic concept is to if you want to find out what is the remainder will be you have to use modulus operator so that's all about uh, the arithmetic operator we have uh, done with the arithmetic operator so in our next video we will learn more about the integer and what is the round of some functions we have learned okay so stay tuned